Hi there, this is Laura, and I want to share with you today a bit about my own story and just how I ended up here doing what it is that I'm doing. And, and what it is that I'm doing is actively on a daily basis working to create my dream lifestyle because I believe in my heart of hearts that I can have the life that I dream of. Um, and I believe that anybody can have that with dedication and faith and hard work. And so a bit about me up until uh, almost exactly two years ago, I had a 14 year career working with kids, mostly teenagers, and most of those years as a therapist. And I worked in different places like juvenile halls and group homes and um, treatment centers and worked with some really tough but really amazing kids. And I'm, I'm blessed to get to stay in touch with some of them today still and hear and see how they're doing. And so, you know, to back up to my own teenage years, there were, there were tough years for me. Um, my house was a bit chaotic at times, and we had some intense tragedies, including the loss of my dad when I was 16. Um, I left home shortly after that. And, uh, you know, it was also during those years, though, that I committed myself to being a serious athlete, and that's something that's maintained in my life for the last over 23 years. And so I've competed at a national and Olympic level. I've um, I continue to compete in different things now, and um, it's just a real passion of mine that's maintained through the years. And so, um, after you know, after uh, leaving home and, and going to school, getting myself into school and getting myself through it, um, I went to the Olympic Training Center for a little while after college, and then um, was a little bit directionless. But I had a friend who worked in a group home and, and started in with that work. I actually lived with the kids in the group home for a while. Um, I really found my calling and what I was passionate about, uh, passionate about and what um, I love to do. And it was such a great feeling. And, and it was also through that work that I was introduced to working with horses and using them for therapy and rescue horses and, um, and stumbled across a, another passion of mine that I maintain and continue to keep in my life, which is horses and working with people. And so, so fast forward a little bit, um, you know, a couple years before my career ended, about four years ago, I went through some really tough personal times, um, including divorce and bankruptcy and um, some serious substance abuse issues. It almost took my life, actually. And um, as a result, eventually, I uh, ended up losing my job and my career over it. And so at that time, as devastated as I was, um, I also decided to take that opportunity to um, make it an opportunity and take inventory of my life and what I was doing and where I was heading. And one of the things I used to really struggle with when I had a you know traditional job that I went to every day was loving the work that I did, being passionate about it, being really good at it, um, and really struggling with going to a building every day and not not being in charge of my life and my time and. You know, I could work 40 hours or 100 hours and I would still make the same paycheck and just kind of always chasing my tail and never able to get ahead and, and just not li not really liking how I was spending um, my time that was my own. And so um, exactly a year ago, uh, it was about a year after I left my job and I was kind of fumbling along trying to figure out what I wanted to do with myself. Um, a year ago, I got into my first home business with a great company, great people. Um, selling health and wellness products and uh, caught the vision and realized like I love this I love being my own boss I love creating my own destiny um, I can have my hair color be whatever color I want um, I can work in my you know pajamas if I want to I, it's uh, I really um, appreciated what I was exposed to what I realized though after really struggling and working very very hard for a few months was there's got to be a better way to do this. I knew that some of the methods I was being taught were very old school, like um, making a list of your friends and family and bothering them to buy your product or, um, you know, having shake parties <laughs> at your house. I did all of that stuff. And so I made a commitment back in May of 2013 to become a full-time student of this game and figure it out. And like I said, I, I understood that there was a better way to do things. And that set me on a path where I, you know, I've had great results. I've been able to make more, um, a better monthly income than I ever made in my 14-year career. Um, I've been able to stay, you know, keep up with the things that I'm passionate about and spend time doing those things like the rescue horses and, and fitness and competing and connecting with other people. And, um, and so 
I want to leave you with this, which is that I came into this knowing nothing without a background in this at all. Um, and, and, you know, like I said, with daily belief and commitment and faith, um, have here I am and I'm making this video for you. And it's not to say that I haven't gone through struggles like many people do in this industry. Um, I certainly have and lost focus at times and kind of stepped away, but that's when I've reached out and leaned on the community of people who are around me that um, have come into my life through this journey. And I have to say it's made all the difference in the world. And so with that, I'm going to thank you for listening to my story and I will see you in the next video.